Hey everybody, Jake here and welcome to the hobby. Today we are going to open up a Matchless Fighters Booster Box, the latest Pokemon card set to come out of Japan. They are continuing with the theme of Rapid Strike and Single Strike cards. There are some beautiful cards in this set, including some gorgeous alternative art Pokemon cards. The three that everyone is talking about is the Galarian Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres V cards. That set is going to be hot, I can tell you that for sure. But there's also plenty of full art trainer cards, a gold Snorlax card. If you're a fan of the big boy, then you're gonna want that card for sure. There's also a Blaziken alternative art card and a Galarian Slowking alternative art card. So this set is honestly pretty stacked full of really amazing cards that I think you're gonna want inside of your collection. This set is of course the Japanese set. The Japanese set is a little bit smaller compared to the English set. The cards from this set is most likely going to be in our upcoming uh, Chilling Rain set. So this is going to be a first look at some of the cards and the artwork that is going to be inside of Chilling Rain. The Japanese set is a little bit different from the English set. Each of their booster packs only contain five Pokemon cards. So these packs are very light and the set itself is much smaller compared to the English set. So if you look right down here, there's only 70 cards inside of this set. So it's about the same size as Champion's Path. The English set tends to be a little bit larger. We tend to have, I would say, anywhere from 150 to well over 200 cards inside of our sets. So every two Japanese set combines to become one English set. We have Matchless Fighters, we're gonna have one other Japanese set, and they're gonna combine those two sets to become Chilling Rain. But I'm really excited for all the cards that are gonna be in Chilling Rain, so I wanted to get a heads up and open up some of the cards from this set before it even comes out into English, which most of these cards will most likely come out in English. So if you want to get a sneak peek or if you're really excited for Chilling Rain and you wanna open up some Matchless Fighters booster box, you don't have to jump through any hoops to really open up these cards. The artwork is fantastic. And I can't wait to pull some of the full art trainer cards, some of the secret rare cards. This set has 26 secret rares, I think. It's really large, so I can't wait to pull some of those. We are for sure guaranteed some inside of every single booster box, so it's gonna be exciting when we finally pull them. If you want to open up some matchless fighters, they're available right now on Amazon. Uh, you can get them really easily. Don't jump through any hoops. You don't have to buy these directly from Japan. You can buy them right on Amazon and they'll come to your house in the United States in one to two days. So why jump through the hassle of buying them uh, from Japan, waiting three weeks and paying like extra fees or whatever else. Probably that'd be a cool full art trainer card. Can't wait to pull that one. So yeah, link down in the description if you'd like to check out Matchless Fighters for yourself. And honestly, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited right now. So let's see when we get our first decent hit. We got Car Carvana, that's a cool one for sure. We got a Hollow Rare, but not what I'm looking for. The Karen Full Art. Karen, is Karen the meme name now? Ah, can't wait to pull the Karen Full Art. But yep, I think this one's a good pack for sure. I can feel it. No, we got ourselves a Hollow Rare. We got Braviary, we got Oh my god, that is so sad. Some of the artworks in the Japanese booster packs are really adorable. And wow, the fact that each one of these packs only contain five cards, you really, you really churn through them really fast. I'm surprised by how many packs I've opened already. Feels like at least a dozen already. Clara is one of the full art trainers from this set. Uh, I don't really like her style. I'm sure someone would prefer that full art trainer. The one that I'm chasing from would probably be Karen or Brawly. I think Brawly would be a really cool full art trainer card. I really like Brawly. He's a cool gym leader. Oh my gosh, the little Weedle doing like chin ups or pull ups. Oh my, oh and the Heracross. 
Oh my god, doing sit-ups on the ground. That is so hilarious. I love some of the artworks. Are you are you kidding me? Oh my god, the Doug Trio doing like rapid training. They are really upping their games with the artwork. Even on like the non um, alternative art or chase pulls, like you get some hilarious artwork inside of these cards. So I really dig it. Hey, man, this artwork came a little bit late. Should have came out probably like three. Oh my goodness, our first decent hit. We got the Galarian Slow King uh, Single Strike V card. This is, is this the alternative art? What number is it? Number 46 out of 70. It is not the alternative art, but that is pretty cool. Galarian Slow King. Supposedly pretty powerful with some serious, uh, s some serious, what is it? Poison, is that what that card does? It does something like that. Oh my gosh. The artwork on these cards are just adorable. I love it. I love it. They're so cool. I wish we, Wait, we are getting these cards in English. That's amazing, fantastic. And we got ourselves another ultra rare. Now they're starting to come in. Number 25 out of 70, we have the Galarian Articuno V. Jeez, gorgeous artwork. This isn't even the alternative artwork and it's already gorgeous. We're gonna know when we get one of the secret rare cards because it's gonna go above. 70 there's only 70 cards inside of this set so you really only need one maybe two booster box if you feel like opening it up you're gonna get most of the regular cards inside of the set but if you want all the secret rares oh that's gonna be a challenge with 26 secret rares what are you gonna do you're gonna have to buy this you're gonna buy them on the secondary market that's what i'm gonna assume because gosh darn it there's no way you're gonna get 26 secret rares from this set that's insane Outside of all of the alternative art cards, there's just so many other cards from this set. Most of the trainer cards, or I think all of the trainer cards, have two versions. A full art version as well as a rainbow rare version. So there's just so many cards to collect. But I think the gold Snorlax is going to be a fun one for sure to chase after. Snorlax has a lot of fans, including me. I really like Snorlax. Just a very iconic Pokemon, always got in my way in the game, so I can't wait to pull it. We got Thunderous, Hollow Rare, already seen that one. So we're getting some duplicates. Boy, how many packs do we have left? I'm getting tired. I feel like I've opened up so many booster packs and my gosh, I actually don't know how many booster packs is inside of a Japanese booster box. That's something I feel like I should know, but I don't. And I'm too lazy to count. I'm too lazy to count. Someone in the comments will tell you because they know more than me. I can promise you that. We got Heracross as a single strike card. We got ourselves another Karen Trainer card. And man, the ultra rares are cool, but I know for sure that there's a secret rare somewhere in one of these booster packs. We still have like 12 more to go through. I'm surprised. I thought this booster box would not be that hard to get through. Not our secret rare yet, but we got ourselves the uh, Galarian Slow King Full Art B Max, number 47 out of 70. So, wow, maybe the game is telling me to play Galarian Slow King. We got the V version as well as the V Max right there in the background and a bunch of the other cars that you can get on the pack card. We got Blaze again and the Bird Trio, which is going to be a hot card. They're gonna be hot for sure. The English versions, if alternative art cards continue to be extremely challenging to pull, is going to be very expensive for sure. I Oh my goodness, we got a hit. We got a serious hit. It's a full art trainer card, guys. Single strike, single strike, that means it's Karen. It has to be, yes, it's Karen. Wow, gorgeous. Number 89 out of 70. So there we go, pulled one of the full art trainer card in the rainbow rare slot. I could tell because of the single strike label and there's only one single strike full art trainer card from this set. So yeah, there we go. 
that's a cool hit for sure. So the Japanese booster boxes are a little different from the English one. You're guaranteed a secret rare inside of the Japanese one where you're not guaranteed anything inside of an English booster box. There are odds inside of the English booster box, but there's no guarantees. You can get two secret rares inside of your English booster box and you can get none as well. Check out that tree. What is that? Is that a berry tree? Oh my goodness. What? I'm flabbergasted by that tree. That is such a funky tree. But yeah, the Japanese sets can be a lot of fun for sure. We got Diglett. We got Scrafty. Oh, wow. Wow. I, I, I was thinking like, is Urshifu in this set? Urshifu had to be in this set. They made a hollow rare Urshifu single strike style, not a V card which was inside of Battle Styles, but that is cool. Oh my goodness, even the Kakuna using Hardening. It has to be using Hardening. Wow. Even even the, the regular common and uncommon cards, I think, are really, really cool. This is just a really solid set. I wonder if we can get another Secret Rare from a Japanese booster box. I mean, I got a lot of packs to go through still. It'd be a shame to say that there is nothing else inside of these booster packs. We're probably going to get at least a couple more ultra rares just with how many packs we have left. But yeah, I would love to see some more of the, uh, the birds. The birds! Get me some of those chickens. And yes, there we go! Yes! The dark flaming chicken. We got ourselves the Galarian Moltres V. Ooh, my goodness. So that's... Two birds down, one to go. We got one more bird. We're missing Zapdos and that's all. All right, if I can pull the whole entire set, I'm I'm a happy guy. I'm a happy camper. I'm honestly already a happy camper. We've already gotten like five ultra rares and one full art rainbow rare. I can't really ask for more. We got some Viper, we got Tentacool. And honestly, that's all I really wanted. We still got a ton of packs. There's so many packs. What? I've opened up like... I feel like I have such a stack of open packs and I still have more to go through. It's pretty insane how many, how many packs they can shove inside of this little box. So yeah, if you want to pick yourself up a Matchless Fighters booster box and enjoy yourself a product that is a bit cheaper compared to English set than the... Uh, Matchless Fighter set is really solid. We got a Shaman Hollow Rare. Uh, honestly, I enjoy the Japanese booster boxes. They are a lot of fun to open. They're a little bit different. I enjoy all the cards very much. The quality is a little bit different. The pack art can sometimes vary from the English one. Oh my goodness, that's a hit. We got the Rapid Strike Blaziken V Max. Yeah, Blaziken is in this set. Got a gorgeous alternative art card that I would really like to pull as well. But there's the V Max Blaze again. Oh man. Can't wait to pull this card in English too. So Chilling Rain looks to be a a really solid set. Like ah, if if they have cards like this in Chilling Rain, I'm gonna be excited. I'm gonna be excited for Chilling Rain for sure. We got ourselves Heracross, Scrafty, oh my goodness, a new holo rare. I think I've gotten all the holo rare from this set, so that's pretty good. I do enjoy putting these cards into binders and seeing which cards am I missing and trying to get those cards as well, just so I can fill out at least the 70 cards inside this set. I probably won't get all the secret rares, not the Japanese one at least. I'll probably go for the English set when that comes out. The hits from the background is looking pretty good and we still got a couple more packs to go through so I think we can probably get at least one more hit. I would love to see some last pack magic. Probably at least one more ultra rare although I'm happy with what we've gone. Can't really complain with the background looking as good as it does right now. Could have been a lot worse. We got ourselves the Blaziken V. So really solid. I got myself both the uh, 
Galarian Slow King V, V Max, the Blaziken V, and the Blaziken V Max. So yeah, wow. We got pretty much all the regular cars that we wanted. The only one I'm missing right now is the Galarian Zapdos. So if I can pull that as well, we would be really groovy. That's the only gap that I'm seeing inside of the background right now. Oh, we're two packs. Can we do it? A little bit unlikely, but not impossible. I'm willing to bet on it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see what we get. We got ourselves another whole holo rare. We got the Rapid Strike Urshifu. So I think that's it. I filled out all my holo rares. I got the Single Strike Urshifu. I got the Rapid Strike Urshifu. Man, one booster box. That's all you need. Yeah, a lot of people are surprised when they ask me like who my Japanese vendor is and I just say, oh, have you tried Amazon? It's probably on there. I mean, like why jump through hoops unless you have to? I do purchase cards directly from Japan pretty often, but for a lot of just, you know, standard products like these booster box, you can find them right on Amazon in the United States. So why jump through any hoops if you do not have to? So yeah, wow. Love the hits that we got from this video. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The guaranteed secret rare is really, really darn cool. You always have the odds of getting one of the uh, alternative art, uh, Moltres, Zapdos, or Articuno V cards, the gold Snorlax. So lots of cool cards inside of this set. I'm impressed. I can't wait to see this cards from in chilling rain so that's gonna be a lot of fun all right everybody that's the end of today's video thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy the content if you want to check out some matchless fighters for yourself there's plenty of it available on multiple product website it is a very readily available set can't wait to open up this set when it comes to english it's going to be a lot of fun to see all of these cards Chilling Rain looks to be a very strong set, and I can't wait to do my full review on it later this year. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.